Hey, what's up everyone? How are you? How are things going? Um, I wanted to come on for another coffee time and just talk about things. Um, I want to start off by saying I'm somewhat relieved for George Floyd's family. And I say somewhat because I can't imagine the pain that they're enduring. And I also am glad that this I, I can't even call him a person, and I won't say his name on here. I'm glad that that thing is being held accountable for what he did. And it's just the beginning, because there are so many others that we know of, and many we don't, that have experienced this with no closure and I'm just I don't know there aren't any words really um, so I want to say that and that I um, I hope that the others that deserve and need justice get it and um, that's, that's all I'll say on that. So God bless his family. And my heart really goes out to them, even though they don't know me. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have any words, really. So I um, also want to talk about my second dose of the vaccine. So I had my second dose on Monday, it's now Thursday. When I first got it, it was so weird because this time I didn't feel the needle go in at all. I just felt the actual medicine or whatever it is going into my arm. And by the way, it freaks me out every time I hear them say, we want to put it in your arm, even though I decided to get it. I decided for my own reasons, and I'm still uncertain whether it was the right thing to do or not, but I felt like it was the right thing to do to keep my kids and kids and people safe in general. Um, anyway, that's my personal decision that I made. Anyway, that night, um, I woke up at like maybe three in the morning and I felt all kinds of muscle aches. Like I had just fought somebody or something. I was sore all over, mostly in my legs. Like a lot of in my legs, like joints and muscles. And my body was achy and I was experiencing cold chills. And then my arm was hurting in not directly after the shot, but a little while after the injection site was swollen and it did hurt. So I'm not one to really take medicine, but I just took some Tylenol to kind of ease it. But the weird thing is I felt the pain from the top of my arm going into the palm of my hand. Um, but that night when I was like, I was like ridiculously cold where I had to really tighten my blanket around me. Like just if I uncovered myself a little, I was freezing. And so that's what I mostly experienced. And then that morning I had a really bad headache. Well, actually that when I woke up, my head was hurting. And in the morning it was just hurting even more. Um... So those are the main things, chills, headache, body aches. No fever though. Um, that's about all I was feeling this time. And so throughout that day, the next day, which was Wednesday, I had the shot Monday. Then Tuesday night, I felt all those things. And then throughout Tuesday, I was sore. And then Wednesday, it was all gone. Like nothing happened at all. Like nothing was there. 
um, no muscle aches, no soreness, no cold chills. It was just like, boom, it was gone. Um, so I've, of course, done a lot of research and looked up these things, and I forgot the correct medical terms. But apparently when your body is taking in a vaccine, um, there's a word for it, but basically your body is kind of revving up to fight whatever virus it is. And that's why we have that effect. This is just what I read. I don't obviously know the real reasons, but a lot of people are experiencing the same symptoms as I did. Some with fever, low-grade fevers. And that's not something I got. So thankful for that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share my experience with you on that. Another thing that will need another one. I don't know. I guess it's just like the flu vaccine. But to be honest, before this, I didn't have a flu vaccine since 2007. And even when I had one then, it was because I was pregnant with my daughter. And I don't know what, why I felt guilty and that, that I should get it. Um... But this time it wasn't that. I just felt like that's what I should do. Can't really explain it. Um, but I hope I made the right decision. And I just pray to God that I stay safe along with all the others that have had the vaccine. And I pray that it does what it's meant to. And so, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. I know my lips are dry and things. Um, so I've been thinking about saying goodbye to the channel. I've been thinking about saying goodbye to YouTube for a few reasons. I'm not saying I am yet, but I've just been thinking a lot and <laughs> what's new, right? Um, but I, I'm not this vlogger. You know, my kids don't even like to be recorded, so I respect that. Um, I don't have money to go do all these things and vlog and show you guys. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not famous and rich. I, I don't do that, and I, and I can't be fake. Like, I refuse to be on camera and pretend that I'm perfect and that I have it all together because... None of us do. I just try my best in raising my kids as a single parent. Um, I don't have money to go do my nails and hair and all that stuff. Not that we really could. I mean, it, things are starting to open up, but but I don't have that luxury to just do that all the time. You know what I mean? And I'm okay with it. I don't care that you can see my blemishes or whatever because that's not who I am. You know, and the reason I started this channel were for two reasons. One was to vent and talk about things. The other was to hopefully have others feel like just, I don't know, just to be relatable. And even back then, I just didn't want people to feel alone because I know in my experiences as a blind person, there's many times even now where I feel alone and and I hate saying that because I have children, but you can still feel alone and love your kids like no other because <laughs> there's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for my kids. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, but I can't be fake, you know. And I'm not calling other vloggers fake, although, you know, some are. Um, because some pretend to be a perfect mother or, who, or whatever on camera, but then probably don't even bother to look at drawings and things and who knows what I'm just saying in general I'm not a perfect mom you know I I yell I do things that I'm a regular person and all I'm saying is that no matter how many subscribers you have you look at the views and it's like who's listening and then you know I don't I don't I'm not like, well, I'm not saying anything too profound, 
you know, I don't expect people to just listen, but it's just like, what am I doing? Does it make me happy to come out and speak for people who I think need a voice? Yeah, I always want to do that. I just don't know if I want to do it here anymore. You know, um, I was doing my workout videos, but I shouldn't say but. I'm, I was doing my workout videos, and I was doing it because I was holding myself accountable as well as maybe trying to help others, you know, exercise. Like, here I am, like, visually impaired and whatever. I'm just exercising on camera for God knows who to see. And it's not to show off. It's not to look a certain way. It's simply to hopefully motivate others to exercise or even motivate me to exercise. Everything I do is from the heart. And I realize lately that sometimes I give too much of my heart and end up getting hurt in the end anyway. And that goes into so many things, but what I do and when I talk it's coming from me and it's not for attention it's not to get the most subscribers because you can have all of that you know you can have a bunch of subscribers but what does it truly what does it truly mean if no one's really listening you know um, I don't know I could be wrong in what I'm saying, but the bottom line is I cannot be pretend. Um, I just, I just won't be, you know, some people think that they, I don't know, I'm, I'll just speak for myself. Um, if I can inspire or help others to do something that's beautiful, but I'm not really doing anything that's worthwhile right now. I am, excuse me, getting signed back up for school because I want to do social work and I want to serve. I want to have a purpose while I'm here. You know, um, it's important to me. The things I talk about aren't just words. I really need to do something that I feel is worthy and helping others is my calling it's my genuine calling and even though I seem like I can't help myself at times <laughs> I'm getting a lot better I feel a lot better and so yeah I don't I don't know what I'm doing with the channel I'm not saying I'm quitting YouTube but it wouldn't matter if I did right now. And that's not to say, oh, woes me and negativity. It just really wouldn't matter because I'm not doing anything too big here. Um, I appreciate the people that are frequent, frequent watchers and have been around for the last few years and will even message me privately like, I like what you said or I didn't like what you said or whatever. Because I could take it all, you know. Most of the time, it's in a loving way anyway. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, it's, just, it's just a whole lot of things. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I, I will try my best. I will still come on here and talk when I feel like something needs to be talked about or shared. Like, for an example, I started taking this, this is so different topic now, but whatever, it's coffee time. Um, I've been taking some vitamins. Vitamin C I've been taking for a while, a long time. But I was only taking 500 milligrams, and it was like this, um, what was it? It was the Spring Valley brand from Walmart. And so now I switched over to 1,000 milligrams, but I got it from the vitamin shop. And the one I was taking before was a tablet. These are gel. Actually, let me get them because there's two vi vitamins I want to show you guys. And the reason I want to show you is because I'll tell you. Hold on.
So, hold on. I'll get in my ear. All right, so these are, and I don't know which way I'm showing them to you, so I'll just show you the whole label. These are vitamin C, and they're from the vitamin shop, and I'll show you what they look like. It's like they're pretty big, and I dropped that one. <laughs> they're pretty big. I take two of these, so they're a thousand milligrams. And vitamin C is good to take. I don't just take it because corona and all that. It's actually good for your body to pick up on free radicals, stuff that might try to attack you and make you sick or whatever. These right here, though, these are B complex. It's a B complex vitamin, which has, I believe, eight different B. So you got your B12, B6, I believe B1. I don't know. I forget. But they're 50 milligrams each, and it's also a capsule. So these help with giving you energy, but I didn't know when I started taking them that they also can help sort of, I don't know how, like, but regulate chemicals or regulate, not, not necessarily chemicals, but it helps with stress and depression. And I, and I haven't been depressed. I mean, I've been sad about a few things, but not depressed. There's a difference. But they help, and seriously, since I've been taking these, because I just started these, I don't know, like a week ago or something, maybe two weeks now. But I feel like a major difference. I actually do feel less sluggish. So I really recommend taking these, because if you look it up, look, at, look up B-complex and look up all your B vitamins. It seriously makes sense. And our body doesn't produce vitamin C or these b the B vitamins that are in B complex vitamins. So we have to somehow supplement or get it somehow. But anyway, I know it's all over the place, but that's what coffee time is. If you come in to a coffee time, I'm probably gonna talk about a whole bunch of things. Um, but I hope you all are well. Please take care of yourselves. Be true to yourselves, you know. Um, don't compare yourself because you'll never be happy. And we all are just doing our own thing. And that's all we can do. And those who judge others just have issues, major issues. Because I'm really tired of that. I'm tired of the underhanded statements people make. I'm tired of racism. I'm tired of people being judgmental. But as long as they're humans, I guess there'll always be these stupid little politics. I personally just don't know how to handle it at times. But um, all we can do is stay in our own lane and be respectful to others. Because if you're not, I mean, don't expect that in return. You know what I mean? Give out what you want to get. And I know that sounds probably like, oh, old woman talking, but it's true. What you expect to receive, you need to give out. And I don't mean give all of yourself either, because that's been my mistake for too long. I just mean, if you want to be respected, respect others. And, yeah, and let the world go around. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you all are good. And... I am not used to my phone <laughs> recording me like this. But anyway, I hope you all are well. And I'll show you these things again. Here's the vitamin C. And um, there are 500 milligrams each, so 1,000 I take. And then these are B complex. Of course, talk to your doctor, especially if you're taking other medications. Always ask. Vitamins are pretty harmless, but you always should ask your doctor before anything especially if you're on medication so um, you want to make sure that it's safe so before you start any regimen ask your doctor because I am no professional I should have said that before I said all this other stuff but I'm just so excited because this B complex thingy vitamin has had an effect on me and I don't I am not one to like promote or 
say, hey, do this or do that. Like, <laughs> it sounds like I'm trying to get you to do some crazy stuff, but it's just, a, it's just it does have a good effect. It, it did for me. So try it out, and of course, ask your doctor beforehand if you could incorporate that. So I will talk to you all soon. As always, much love. And please leave comments below on your thoughts, whether they're good or bad, because I really can take it all and um, be a woman about it. So I'll talk to you all later. Just know that I'm a lot happier these days. I'm feeling really good. Bye.